Hi, I'm Jalith from mrsmojo.co.uk, which I set up to help you know it's good to be you. And today I want to talk to you about dealing with the difficult feelings that you will get, or if you're a mum, your child will get. Um, I've had lots of conversations in the past and lots of inquiries about how to help children deal with anger. And it's something that um, my eldest in particular struggles with. And also, as I approach, you know, 40s, I've realised that I get it more um, at certain times of the month as well. So really just feeling like you've got this um, volcano inside of you that is about to just go okay so anger now first and foremost anger is not a bad feeling to have yet unfortunately um from very young ages children are taught that it is so obviously we don't want kids to have tantrums all the time so as parents you're often told to stop the kids having the tantrum in the first place but if you know that anger is not um it's not a bad feeling to have it's actually um not as low down on the emotional scale as say depression um so if if somebody's being angry then at least you're feeling something so it's actually much higher up than depression and sort of guilt and things like that so anger is a feeling that you have where you generally feel out of control. You'll get angry and you'll be triggered in some way. So what I normally do with the children that I work with is we, is we sit down and chat about the triggers for anger. But a lot of the time that has to um, actually be practiced and you have to look at the triggers um, sort of after you know how to deal with the anger in the first place. Because a lot of the time they could say, yeah, I've been triggered, but it's like they've got this really hot potato jumping around inside of their tummy and it just has to come out, like I say, like a volcano. Um, so what is really good to know is that you have to let it out, first and foremost, because if you're telling the kids to push it back down or if you yourself are trying to push it back down it's just gonna grow bigger and explode at a later date and it's gonna get worse at that later date so you have to let it out in a controlled way now what our class is maintenance is basically when you or your child can do regular exercises whatever makes you feel good that helps you feel good and in control of your life because it's the control aspect that will let the anger grow and explode out so my daily exercises really for me are my yoga meditation and journaling and the weeks or the days that i don't do that is when i get angry um as well as my hormones <laughs> making me angry so that is the key thing and my eldest he ne he normally feels really angry when he doesn't feel like he's got control over everything now you can't have control over absolutely everything but it could be a big trigger so imagine the hot potato jumping around your tummy and this has to come out now it can come out in two ways and it's whatever is your feeling in that moment is the best way for you to get this anger out or your child to get the anger out so a hot way it could be jumping up and down so obviously i'm not trying to encourage all of these tantrums that children are told not to do but you know exercise going for a walk um i used to do kickboxing and um, videos to get it out or i blitz the house and totally clean and use that sort of power of the energy to motivate me to do something so running jumping up and down on the spot um having a game some people say hitting pillows or punch bags that could work. I am a little bit reluctant to recommend that because it could form a habit of actually hitting, hitting out with the anger. So again, it it's what works for you. But something that's hot and explosive to get that hot potato out, if that's what you feel you need. Another way is a cool and calming way. And again, you need to know in the moment what will work for you. So a cool and calming way could be acknowledging that the anger is there and that you need a hug. It could be going off, taking yourself to a room just to snuggle up in bed and read a book. It could be doing a meditation. It could be going for a nice peaceful walk. It could be listening to some calm, relaxing music. Or it could just be sitting and telling yourself, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, and taking nice deep breaths breaths so in my happy teenager fun book happy woman and the happy child book i've got this exercise and this is what we've just talked about so a really good tip is to think about the hot ways you can get the anger out 
and the cool ways you can get the anger out that work for you. So another hot way if you talk about music could be rock music, like really loud poppy or rock music, whatever works for you to just dance around like a maniac to just to get that hot energy out. So if you have a list of the hot ways you can get anger out and the cool ways you can get anger out, then you're you're prepared so you won't necessarily have to be reactive you can think right in this moment this is the anger I'm feeling this is how I need to get it out and you can do it in a way that is safe and controlled for you instead of something that is going to hurt others so I hope that helps it's a very very big one so I'm going to do a lot more on anger um over the next few weeks okay and thanks for watching bye